Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. A little different setup. So I'm getting back into the kitchen. Well, not really the kitchen. See, this is this is my kitchen here in the uh, in the room. So how do you cook when you're staying in a hotel? And I I, I thought I'd never say this, but I'm getting a little tired of room service. So I wanted to fire up. I got the crock pot out. Good old uh, uh, corporal crock pot or the crock. Crock-a-Pot Dundee, <laughs> I think that's what, that's what the name is. Uh, got it out of the back of the car and brought it upstairs. And uh, I'm going to fire up some uh, something. So the whole idea here is something just super easy that I can put together. Just, just got the ingredients, throw it together. And it's going to be some herb chicken with, uh, with lemon. So I'm pretty excited about trying this. So... I'm going to flip the camera around and try this. Uh, I'm kind of featuring, I found this recipe for uh, for uh, uh, rosemary and, and lemon chicken with whole chicken. And I'm like, well, I don't want it a whole chicken. That's kind of messy, you know, with the carcass and all that. So I like the thighs, the chicken thighs. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm walking around the, uh, the car for yesterday looking for rosemary, which um, they had some. Uh, I, I was able to find some. There was no fresh rosemary, and I'm looking around and I and I saw these uh, herb, herb de Provence, um, and I'm going. Well, I'm in a French grocery store. That's that's good, and I'm like, well, the French are they have good food. And then I'm herb de Provence, which in French means herbs of province. <laughs> That's 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 uh, high school and college French coming in handy yet again. So herb de Provence, which I, I've used this before with some garlic chicken that I made um, in the in the oven, which was one of Will's favorites, uh, um, and it's it's just really tasty. It's got a nice mix of, of different herbs and everything. So if you ever see this herb de Provence, no, uh, this is pretty tasty stuff, especially with chicken. So I'm gonna turn the camera around throw everything in the crock pot and turn it on and I got to go to work today. Uh, I'm going to have it on low for about eight hours and when I'm done, you know, when I get back from work, it should be done. So let me flip the camera around. We'll put all this together. So stand by one. All right, we're back. So before we get started, just, so this is living in this big glass building. So um, every once in a while, they'll come around. See these ropes? Well, there's, see how high up I am? Well, there, there's guys hanging off the end of those ropes and they, they about once every couple of months or so they'll come down the side of the building and clean these are window cleaners and they'll go down the side of the building cleaning the windows on this hotel so you see that a lot around here it's crazy i see those guys hanging off cleaning the windows oh god love them all right so back again so the idea here i do have a knife you could do this uh without a knife uh kind of rough rough house it into the, <laughs> the crock pot could do that uh, I'm gonna do this uh, this will this will be rough cut though so it's not uh, it's not gonna be real super pretty but uh, you know the idea is that I'm if, if you if, if you were in a hotel and you were out you know on vacation somewhere and you wanted to have a nice meal while you're out save a little money so you don't have to go out to eat well that would be the idea there so I've washed these these are just regular old white potatoes smaller ones i was gonna just toss them in whole but i'm like well let me just cut these up so i'm just kind of rough cutting them up and i'm gonna put in potatoes and carrots and then the idea is i'm gonna put the chicken thighs on top with the spices and the lemons and all so as the chicken cooks um, hopefully the grease will kind of run off i'll put some i'll use some olive oil as well so i've all the directions and the recipes down below it's pretty simple and I love cooking with a crock pot because it's virtually Steve proof so how's everybody doing doing all right yeah well, that's good to hear got uh, been real busy at work uh, we've got we're effectively a person down a pipe. We're missing or a pilot short, so we're pretty busy at work. And uh, it's slowed down this this week a little bit, so I've been able to 
do a couple of videos. That's where I've kind of been. So, uh, and it is cooling down noticeably. It's dropped about five degrees C, so it's only in the upper 90s now. <laughs> That's just crazy. In October? What? <laughs> All right, so there's my uh, potatoes. That was, I don't know if you kept count, that was probably like five or six. I got these baby carrots. So again, the idea is, well, if I got big carrots and chopped them, chopping them up, then I'd had some extra work. So I just got these baby carrots. I'll just kind of scatter these around in here. Not a lot of green in this, other than the, the herbs. Uh, that's probably... Yeah, we'll go with all of them. Why not? I usually buy too much stuff. Usually I have too many potatoes and all that. I think maybe I finally got it about right. So, all right. Next thing I've got is some chicken thighs. And they just come in this nice pack here. So I'm going to go with that. Whack this open. Now I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in, and then I'll just I'll just uh, put the spices on top. So just kind of scatter these on top. Now as the chicken cooks, the grease will come off that whatever grease there is on this. Any fat will cook off and run into the to the uh, to the veggies. Hopefully, so I need to pack this in. I gotta use my Tetris video game skills here again. Got to pack these in. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit. I've got just some uh, extra virgin olive oil, about two tablespoons. Now, last time I made chicken with, uh, with oil, I used a whole bunch. So probably two to three tablespoons over the top there just to kind of add that flavor. I'm going to use some just some chicken seasoning. Poultry seasoning, I'm looking for two to three tablespoons. So, you know, the idea is to, to coat the chicken real well. I, I should do both sides, but I'm just going to do the one because I'm thinking that, as it, again, as it cooks, it's going to kind of work its way down. And I'm going to add some more. So two to three tablespoons of that. And, I'm you know, same thing, two to three tablespoons of the Herbe de Provence. nice and now last thing is add the lemons so I'm just basically gonna cut the I'm being, I'm being careful don't worry don't worry I'm all nervous you got me you got me nervous <laughs> so I'm gonna add the juice in on the top here nice lemon flavor and then I'm gonna just put the put the lemon in with it so it'll, as it warms up and, and cooks, it'll cook some more of that juice out. So I've got four, uh, four lemons here. So juice of four lemons I'll add in here. I may not put all the lemons in here. Let's see how this goes. I don't have a cutting board, so it makes it a little sporty. I'm careful, don't worry. <laughs> I could just... I could just hear you all out there going, ah, no. <laughs> that's, what, that's what mom would have done. And Arlene, too. I think she, she worries about me, too. That's going in as well. And then uh, I think that's all I'll do as far as uh, putting the lemons in there. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, just use the uh, juice from these lemons from here on out. So olive oil, you got the spices, got the uh, chicken and potatoes and carrots, and this is about as simple as it can be. Pretty easy to put together. And... Uh, Probably should fish those seeds out of there too, don't you think? 
me out. There's some of these out of here. All right. My Kung Fu grip. Get that lemon juice in there. Now we'll put one more in there. Get these lemon seeds out here before they go in. pick some of these seeds up all right top will go on and then uh, we'll cook it on low for eight to ten hours top goes on now, I've got a towel around it here because I'm like I said I'm in the hotel and I I'm a little worried about it I, I don't I see the all the clearance we got there I don't think there's any way there's gonna be enough juice for it to cook out but I just, I want to be careful because like I said, I'm not in the kitchen at here. So in a hotel, we'll see how this turns out. So it's on low, heading off to work now. And uh, we'll come back and we'll check it when it's done. So I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. So we're back now. So it's 6 o'clock. It's uh, put this on about, nine, so that's about 9 hours cooking. Now when I came home from work, I came in here and I put a little bit more Put a little bit more uh, spices in there, kind of turned it over a little bit. So, but you can see the chicken's cooked, um, and all the potatoes are cooked, nice and juicy. And this smells, oh, it smells amazing. So that potatoes cooked all the way through, and the carrots and all. So I can't wait to try this. So I'm gonna plate this up. And I'm gonna be right back. All right, here we go. So here it is. I'll plate it up nice. Now I'll put a lemon on here just for appearances. I'm not going to eat that. I wouldn't recommend eating that unless you really like lemon peels, but uh, get a little bit of this chicken. I love cooking with chicken uh, chicken thighs. Very tasty. They, they cook up real nice and, uh, and they're real flavorful. So a lot more than like the, the breast meat. Let it cool down. So. How are y'all doing? Had a good day at work today. Mm. Mm. That herb de, uh, de Provence, mm, that's tasty. Mm. My carrots are good. I've thought about adding onions and garlic now the garlic would have taken it all over and I thought about adding onions and I'm like ah, uh, I don't want to I'm a little worried about that too maybe shallots or something like that's so a little milder onion maybe you could put uh, like some green onions over the top and then maybe some uh, some parsley to go along with it too over the top mm. Potatoes hot. <laughs> what am I going to learn? Never. So very tasty and super simple. And here I am and it's like a home cooked meal in a hotel. I get to dodge room service for a night. Uh, never thought I'd use those words, but, uh, but yeah, believe it or not, too much of a good thing, right? It's like, uh, they used to, we used to go to baseball games at, uh, uh up in, when we were up in Seattle and, uh, I watched the Mariners, and they always had this little, you know, in between innings, they would always take, and they'd have a, this one thing they did was, you know, so-and-so sponsors uh, too, it's too much of a good thing. And they talked about, you know, too much of a good thing, and then they'd come up, and, ah, so-and-so won, and then they said, you won? And it was like five pounds of black licorice. <laughs> it's was like too much of a good thing. So, um but uh, uh, very tasty, good, simple, and uh, and this will free uh, it'll refrigerate super easy. I'm gonna take it into work tomorrow for lunch, and uh, and I'll put it in the refrigerator and have it for dinner for a while. It won't be too much though, so there are only like six thighs in there. I'm having two tonight. So anyway, it's so Colonel signing off. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. So go down there. The the directions are down below. Leave a comment too. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time. It's good to be back cooking. Good to see you, and we'll see you later.